Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Julik and we are doing another tutorial. Now, in this uh, I'm going to talk about the trinity of key bindings, player movement and camera positioning, which is again spawning targeting because it's kind of, you know, related. I'm going to talk about key bindings and player movement, I'm going to do a different video on camera position and targeting. Now, I'm going to talk less about key bindings and more about player movement because I generally think key bindings are something very individual, which you should find out for yourself. There's no actual merit in copying, you know, someone else's setup if you're not familiar with it and it, you know, doesn't generally work for you. Um, I have a very weird setup, you know, um, because I have a, a weird, you know, hand position on my keyboard, so not something I would generally recommend to anybody. So, uh, from the very first get-go, I am going to talk about uh, key bindings. Now, um, you know, if you're looking to improve yourself in PvP in this game, or in this game in general, it works for PvE as well, um, the very first thing I'm going to tell you is you need every ability keybound. Every ability. Everyone. Every single one. Every ability you're just remotely going to use, no matter how small or mediocre it is, you do not want to use your mouse on your bars at any time in PvP. You, you just don't want that. Now, I know people are getting very defensive about this and they're saying, like, well, it works for me, it always has worked. You are significantly less effective with clicking than you would be, you know, using your bindings. And I've been a half clicker, you know, for a very long time. I've used the uh, cooldowns and stuff like that. I always clicked them and, you know, had the main rotation on my, on my bars. But, um... Uh, I've, I've stopped that because it's stupid and you're very, very, very bad. The main problem with, you know, clicking is your mouse is occupied. The most effective way of looking around is, of course, having your right or left mouse button, uh, you know, held. And then you can look around freely. You can also turn very quickly because it's your mouse, you know. And um, something you can't do with your keyboard because if you're occupied down here, then you have to keyboard turn, which is not only slower, but it's you can't really control your character. You need absolute control in PvP. And uh, you know, if you're looking to improve yourself and you haven't got every ability bound, do that first. Really, do that first. That's the most important thing. Everything else is kind of uh, you know ridiculously um, unimportant uh, in, in light of this. Now, just to highlight this, um, if I were to click right now, uh, there would be several problems I'm running into right now. now. This is working kind of well because it's a stationary target. So you won't immediately notice that there is any problem. The problem occurs once, uh, you know, something unexpected happens. So if my target, you know, would run away right now, I could only, you know, keyboard turn uh, after him. Maybe I would, you know, use something. And again, you see that I, lo I just lost half a second. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but if you're losing half a second every time you switch a target, you know how many abilities you lose at the end of the fucking game. Now, you know, the problem is y you don't want that. You really don't want that. Another problem is off-global cool, um, um, ability. Now, this is off-global, so I have to click very fast in my thing. And, of course, you can compensate for that by, you know, having the abilities very close and very large on your screen. But, again, it's just, you know, you're just tr trying to compensate for something which is wrong in the first place. And I wouldn't recommend doing that. Another problem is target switching. So, if I would be here right now and someone else from behind is attacking me, what am I going to do? So, I'm not going to do that. Click here, and then, you know, maybe jump to here, and again, I'm, I, I just lost a second. I just lost another second. It, it's ridiculously ineffective, uh, you know, and, and, and I just didn't keyboard turn. I, I used, I used, I actually used my mouse, but I'm still slower than I would be not doing that, you know. The problem is, um, you know, I could do the same thing using my bindings, which I'm doing right now. I have absolute control over my character right now, as you can see right now. Just turn around, get over here, immediately got that, you know, in target, and, uh, you know, can start to burst. Now... See that? I didn't lose my half a second. So, the very first thing you have to do, get your bindings. Get all of your bindings and find, someone, and find some bindings that are comfortable with you. So, now diving into the actual player movement. There are several ways of moving your character and you are going to use all of them. So the very easiest way is, of course, pressing W, which is forward movement, A and D is turning. Um, it's a keyboard turn, it's very slow and very inefficient, as I just said, but you are still using it, you still need it. Some people say, you know, just rebind it. No, you still need that. Um, and there are several occasions on which I'm going to show you how you use that and how, why you need that. There is, of course, left mouse button, which turns the camera if you want to look in a different direction than you are moving. 
You've got the right mouse button, which is uh, responsible for you know camera position and you know player orientation. Player orientation means uh, you know your character turns with you. That is very important when uh, you know targeting, kiting, or you know maybe playing against you know classes that can only attack from behind. You can do kind of this, um, and uh, of course you have got. Um, the strafing abilities, which is of course having the right mouse button pressed and then you know using A and D. You can also use the strafe keys for that. Then you don't need to have. Uh, you know, what's it bound by me? I have no idea. Just have a look at key bindings, uh, movement. What are my strafe buttons? Yeah, I haven't got them bound. But um, uh, strafe would you know allow the same kind of movement uh, just without having the right mouse button pressed. I just usually just I just um, press the right mouse button. Uh, you should, you know, I don't know, I think it's a more efficient way to have actually strafe left and right bound because um, you are running into some very specific problems when you can only, you know, strafe when having the mouse uh, clicked. But uh, I haven't you know, had that big of a problem with that, so I'm not going to change that. I'm you know, kind of used to this setup. Now, the main problem is, you know, everybody knows how to move forward, everybody knows how to do that. Uh, maybe you know a bit, a bit, bit, bit sideward movement. Everybody is kind of familiar with that. Now the problem is, imagine that this is a raging melee and you want to kite him. Now if he's here, you know the very most easiest thing you could do is, of course, turn around and you know run away. Problem with that being, of course, that you can't damage him because you're not you're not facing him. If you're doing this, yeah, there's nothing nothing you can actually do. See that? Not facing target. It just told me. I mean, it does glitch out, but not facing target. Not a single part of. Not a single. Um, you know, damage was dealt right there because I'm not facing the target. So what is the simple solution to that? It's of course facing the target. Problem with that is, you know, if you're now facing the target, you can attack it, but moving backwards means that you move 50% slower. This is called backpedaling. This is something you should never do. You do not press the S button to kite. You are significantly slow. If that was a real melee right now, no matter how much I would slow him, he would still catch up to me because look at this is so painful. Look, I'm looking like a little duck waddling backwards. This is why it's called backpedaling because it's incredibly slow and inefficient. So, what is the right way to do it then? It is of course moving sideways. Moving sideways or strafing, for that matter, uh, is a 100% movement. So it's the same, you know, it's the same speed as moving forward, as moving sideways. So what you want to do right now is you know orientate yourself sideways to the target and start strafing. What I can do right now is I can move away at 100% whilst hitting him. Now of course while I'm doing that I'm not actually seeing the target so what I can do, which is what I do generally when playing like this, is I just peek. You now just have a look, have a look, you know, have a look. This is why I'm jumping all the time. I'm not jumping because I'm a retard, I'm jumping because I want to just have a, have a small look, you know, because I'm moving sideways and just, you know, have a look. Have a look what he's doing. You know, have a look. Have a look. And you know, I'm, I'm having a bit of an arc. You know, a bit of an arc movement because I'm just you know generally doing this sideways hop a bit. You know, but it's 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 sufficient. You know, it's decent enough. Of course, the best way of doing that. I'm just gonna uh, bind my strafe key for that one just to show you uh, what would be even more efficient than that. You know, I'm not the most efficient player for that matter. Unfortunately, um, what uh, what binding should I use? I'm gonna use that one. Okay, turn right has been unmapped. Okay, uh, so using this right now, yeah, this is working out kind of nicely. So what I can do right now is I could now strafe and look at the target with 100% uh, inner movement. I think that works. Does it work that way? Yeah, it does work. So um, you know, I could I could kind of kind of do that right now, which is what I'm you know generally not doing, but. Um, Something you, you could do, which is, you know, why the strafe buttons are still something which is kind of viable, you could do that. Now, um, I'm talking about, you know, different ways of moving your character uh, and, you know, why you need every one of them. There's something which I would like to call movement transitioning, which is what I generally would, would do um, while playing. Now, um, there are very specific, you know, movement sets and I've got my key binding set up in a, you know, kind of weird way, which sometimes require me, you know, of being a bit creative with how I move because um, I've got you know, several bindings which do not allow me to you know continuously press A or D which is of course what I use for strafing and by doing that uh, I kind of have to you know have some way of moving my character somewhere else and I generally do that for auto run uh, or you know just general you know both mouth buttons so sometimes you're going to see me 
uh, you know, using some complicated, uh, you know, key bindings, which I'm going to do. So, for example, using the electronet is a shift a mouse button binding. So, um, if I want to move backwards while doing that, you know, I have to kind of strafe behind. So, this was a strafe move, which I'm doing right now. Uh, this right now is a is a right strafe move. I still have got access to the mouse. If I'm using a target reticle, I of course, you know, have no ability. Uh, of using my mouse for that. So if I want to reposition myself while having a target reticle, uh, everything I can do is keyboard turning. So I kind of, you know, jump around that I'm not that inefficient, but, you know, I'm kind of inefficient with target reticles. So I want to keep um, the time which I have a target reticle out as, you know, as small as possible. So what I would generally would do is before I'm, you know, putting down a target reticle, I would generally put my mouse where I want, where I want it and then just immediately use it. So I'm not having that much downtime. So that, because, you know, having, having the reticle out is, it's painfully inefficient, as you can see right now. It's just kind of wobbly and wonky. You don't want that uh, generally happening. You want the full control of, you know, having the right mouse button pressed. Um, what I'm doing when, you know, moving away from people um, very, very fast is, uh, you know, generally using my movement bindings, the hopping thing around, which which I talked about, which is of course uh, not that good. Um, when moving in range of somebody with a target reticle, I generally use auto run. You know, so just that uh, I don't have to press anything. Uh, and I'm still moving forward, you know, because sometimes I cannot press W, so we use auto run instead. You know, just uh, auto run in, in between right now, this is just auto run, uh, cancel that movement uh, thing, and it kind of works out. It, it's it's kind of weird, and I'm going to show some examples of how it looks when I, you know, jump from my bindings to, uh, to player movement. Uh, the most important things I have already, um, you know, shown to you, which is of course, you know, you can use hopping, which is what I'm doing, to maintain your general direction, you know, uh, and still, you know, doing something else. So if I hop over here, I'm still going to, you know, jump over this short distance, and I and I can do something completely different. So my my hands are leaving the keyboard while jumping, and I'm still, you know, kind of moving in the right direction I want to actually um, move into. Again, a more efficient way would to actually have the strafing keys bound. And if you've got the strafing keys bound, you can do the same thing. And if your you know bindings are more efficient, so you know this is just kind of how do, how I do it. As you can see right here, sorry for the malformed hand, it's just, you know, kind of a weird hand positioning because of the control binding, which I have to use sometimes, I just, you know, do that that way. Now, what you will be, you know, able to see right here is that I kind of, you know, switch around uh, every time when I'm not using an ability, I'm back to the movement keys, just, you know, to maintain control. Every time I'm on an ability, I use my mouse mainly to move my character, so I'm kind of doing it that way. It's going to be trading, um, you know, back and forth some nice damage right here as I'm using my defensive cooldowns at the same time. Target Rectical placed very fast right there. Did kill uh, a guy with that. Now, I do not want to take the damage, so I kind of drift behind here. And, uh, you know, trying, you know, to, to, to get the, uh, you know, the ambush deny right here. Just uh, lost kited him right there with a nice sideways strafe. Also very nice, uh, you know, use of, of the strafe mechanic right there. You know, just avoided that auto crit uh, ambush because I did not want that. Uh, you know, just a bit more dot spread going on right there. Every time I'm in an actual cast, you can see my hand is kind of resting because uh, I do not need to, you know, do all these acrobatic movements I have to do when, you know, kind of switching back and forth. So a nice heal coming in there. And, uh, you know, now I'm just kind of kiting them back here because I do not want a straight uh, 1v3. So you know, just kind of getting the dots going right there. You know, first, just uh, starting off with a nice... Uh, you know, blind on him. He tries to, you know, get around here, but again, just some nice damage gets done. As you can see right here, you know, I used every single uh, ability on the enemies while still, you know, kind of maintaining the pillar kiting movement right here. Oh, 2v1 against these, uh, you know, these guys, he immediately breaks that. And uh, I, uh, you know, just have to move out of the diversion because staying in here means that, uh, you know, that would be reduced. So I used my, you know, movement speed tool and, you know, ran right out of there. He, of course, dies right now because he can't handle me. So this sniper doesn't see me. I can kind of, you know, get a rest, you know, just standing behind here. Still, you know, kind of maintaining my movement. It's just something. It's, it's kind of a, a habit, you know, habitual moving. A, bit, a lot of you m melees know that, you know, that kind of, you know, moving left and right, even though your target is still standing still. Just kind of a thing that I do happen sometimes. So right now I'm just getting that, uh, you know, that uh, health thing so that he doesn't get it. Uh, also, again, everything revolves around movement, you know. So while he was just being static, I outplayed him 
very greatly just by having movement and you can see that right there so here you're just gonna see another arena game you know I've got to that very far zoomed in just that you can you know see what I'm doing if you're interested um, I'm not going to commentate over what I'm doing specifically I'm just going to talk in general what you can take from this video now the general you know things apply still you know it's uh, you know we've learned that you only move sidewards and forward you never move backwards uh, melee is kind of the same thing you know if you m maybe you know um, have to you know you no know, pillar kite you know it's not very very common that something like that happens but maybe you know somebody pops a big cooler and you don't want to be uh, you know directly on him then you know you can do the kind of strafing motion uh, away from somebody you can you know strafe away to you know jump to somebody you know for the uh, minimum range requirement stuff like that but if you do that don't move backwards I'm seeing that very often you know that uh, Juggernauts or, uh, or Marauders in particular, you know, use the S button to, you know, move backwards to jump to somebody. It's it's incredibly inefficient. You shouldn't do that. Now, um, you know, the other things uh, in, in general are, you know, you have to find your your own bindings for this. Uh, you know, find your bindings which are uh, which are comfortable for you. As you can see, what what I'm doing is comfortable for me, even though it doesn't look like that. I've just done that for such a long time that this is just, uh, you know, the most comfortable way for me um, to do it. And uh, it's, you know, in terms of hand movement, it's by no means efficient. There are a lot more efficient ways, I've said that. Uh, and, you know, if you are want to, you know, maybe bring a bit more control, you know, a bit less hopping into it, then you should maybe look at, you know, binding the strafe keys. You know, a lot of top-rated PvP players have their uh, uh, strafe keys, of course, binded, and not just in, in Star Wars, also in you know World of Warcraft and stuff like that. Uh, generally, it's just an, you know it, it applies to MMOs, you know that you kind of want that level of control if you're playing PvP. Um, you know, <clears throat> in general, you know, I just had so many bindings on the mercenary that I just you know kind of used some awkward extra bindings, which uh, I don't know how well they work, but they work for me so. Anyway, uh, also, you know, you may have a different setup. So, you know, many people have, uh, you know, like uh, 10, 10 button mouses. They can, of course, use their thumb uh, for, you know, a lot more buttons, which also frees up a lot of space. They don't need to use their keyboard as much as I do, which means that they can move more freely, of course. So just, just find out what's, what's working best for you. Uh, you know, many people, you know, like to have uh, this kind of freedom with these kind of mouses. Some people don't even use a keyboard. They have got like a, a pad for their, you know, left hand. Um, you know, just, just do what, um, what what suits you best. Anyway, my name is Vendrulik. You've been watching Doing PvP. And as always, have a good one. Also, the uh, camera uh, positioning tutorial will be an extra video because it just kind of, you know, builds upon what I talked about here.